Our heart is a vital organ that pumps blood throughout the body. It takes blood through the veins and sends it to the lungs, where blood is replenished with oxygen before pumping the oxygen-rich blood through the various arteries to the rest of the body. As our heart is also a muscle, it needs a fresh supply of oxygen via blood vessels called coronary arteries in order to function properly. However, sometimes these coronary arteries that supply the heart with oxygenated blood can slowly narrow due to a buildup of plaque, which is made up of fat, cholesterol, calcium and other substances found in the blood. Blood clots will then form around the plaque, blocking the artery. When the artery is severely narrowed, it disrupts the blood flow to the heart, and one will develop coronary heart disease. Coronary heart disease can lead to a heart attack when there is a sudden, complete blockage of the coronary artery where the heart muscle is deprived of oxygen, causing damage and even death to the muscle. There are modifiable risk factors and non-modifiable risk factors for heart attack. Modifiable risk factors are risk factors that you can control, treat or modify. You can lower the risk of heart attack by managing modifiable risk factors such as Smoking or exposure to secondhand smoke High blood pressure High blood cholesterol or bad cholesterol Diabetes or high blood sugar levels Obesity And lack of exercise Then, there are also non-modifiable risk factors which cannot be changed such as Age Gender Ethnicity Family medical history And menopause Knowing one's risk factors and managing them can help to increase the chances of better heart health as well as lessen the risk of heart attack. The symptoms of a heart attack include prolonged severe central chest pain which cannot be relieved by rest or usual medications, nausea, shortness of breath, cold sweat and sudden dizziness. Some people may suffer a heart attack without having any symptoms. If you suspect that you have a heart attack, call 995 for an ambulance, look around and try to get help from someone, rest, sit or lie down, find someone to stay with you until medical personnel arrives, do not drive or go to the hospital by yourself. It is important to diagnose a heart attack early and open up the blocked artery quickly and effectively to minimise the extent of damage to the heart muscle. One treatment option is medications, such as aspirin, to dissolve the blood clot and unblock the artery. Another treatment option that is more effective is to surgically insert a balloon or stent to open a narrowed or blocked artery. This is known as coronary angioplasty. After a heart attack, it is encouraged to undergo a cardiac rehabilitation program along with medications to gradually resume a normal lifestyle and reduce the risk of another heart attack. The Cardiac Rehabilitation Program at the National Heart Centre Singapore involves exercise training, health education, risk factors and behaviour modification as well as diet modification. This structured program aims to gradually improve one's cardiovascular fitness level and psychological well-being to help one resume a normal lifestyle over time. While treatments do not cure coronary heart disease or prevent another heart attack, following your doctor's advice, taking medications and making necessary lifestyle changes including a healthy diet and exercise plan are important to maintain good heart health as well as prevent the progression of heart disease and another heart attack.